Hi guys, this is my first Facebook Live to the group, so welcome. I'm sorry the camera's a little bit tilted, I've had a bit of a problem with the tripod on my phone. Unfortunately, with um, and I can't even see myself because the way I've had to put my phone in my tripod, um, it's just all gone a bit wrong. But unfortunately with Facebook Live, you have to have certain privileges to be able to do Facebook Live from your computer. So I'm still having to hook up my phone even though I've got professional getup. But never mind. We're focusing today on a demonstration on how to make a basket using cellophane wrap. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do that now. Um, I am 31 weeks pregnant tomorrow, so I am um, going to sit down for most of this. Because if I stand up, you'll just see this huge baby bump. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share with you some tips. Because what I find is when I go through the process, there's comments and questions that pop up and um, a few extra bits that happen that I think about rather than just posting tips and advice and so on. So, um, <clears throat> as I said, I can't quite see myself because the camera mount is right in the middle, but hopefully you can see everything that I've got. So I've got my cellophane, which was just five pounds for um, 20 meters. 20 meters is really long. And it's just, you only need about a metre per big hamper. It's not even a huge hamper. Um, I find as well, when you're pricing your hampers, what you put them in is really important. So if it's something under £10, do not spend um, £2 on a basket. But if it's something that, we've got a few more people, hi guys. But if it's a basket that is... If you've got products that are over £20, then I think, think that it is okay to spend a bit more on a basket, to hold it, to make it look a bit more professional, give it a bit more value. And what I found is the more knickknacks you can add, the better. So what I've put in this one are the bath gelée. This is a man's one, um, generally. The aloe lotion. And I'm kind of focusing on... I, I think it's basically like a man spa kit that I've, I had in mind. I, I had some little notes. Um, pamper pouch, no, not that one. Um, this is like my prep area. I've turned my kitchen into a complete Santa's grotto full of stuff. Uh, if I can just swipe and see you guys. Um, so, okay. So I can't see comments, but that's fine. So, um, yeah, back to the actual focus. So I don't know... I like to give these names later on, these packs and what I'm doing, um, but anyway, we'll work that out later, so it's more marketable. Um, we've got, this was 50 pence, these work out 20 pence each, and of course the aloe lips, it stands out and it stays in position if it's in a little pouch, and again that was really cheap, so keep looking for my links to find the cheapest products, because I do research and check the prices of things so that you can get the cheapest ones, and of course I've tested them and you already know the quality and the size and everything else, so I'll put full details of this in the description um, below and in the comment section. So my bag, my bag, my basket, <laughs> baby brain, my basket uh, was 2 79 so it was a bit pricey, but I think you need some fancy baskets in your stall to set the scene and to get the height, and then you can use other cheaper products for things later. But as I say, these items were, are, you know, are over £10 each, so we're looking at about £25 maybe for the, the whole set, or maybe 30 So a 2 79 basket isn't quite so bad, but we're going to keep finding cheaper items. So what I've done, and I noticed some of the girls also commented on these bits, um, was, was how do you stuff the bottom of your baskets? How do you fill them? Well, our lovely products come in this recycled cardboard packaging when we have our deliveries and luckily everything stays beautifully protected because we have all this cardboard. It's it's like paper actually and I, I put it through the shed shredder. I've got big bags full underneath the kitchen table um, where I literally just did a big batch of shredding. Quick note when you're shredding don't go crazy let the motor cool down. Do one minute shredding five minutes lid off let the air get to it and come back. But I've got a video all about how I do my shredding. It might seem a bit dull but I promise you it's how to do it effectively and well and how to get the perfect result from your shreds. So I've got this normal brown shred underneath and then I've just used about two handfuls of gold and shredded tissue paper. And again, there's lots of nuggets on how to get your tissue paper for cheap in a separate video. Anything at all you want me to elaborate on, 
please do pop in the comments and, to, and to say, yeah, I would love to see a bit more detail of how you do that. Um, and again, I'll comment on where I got what from, so you can get the cheapest rather than spend time losing valuable time searching. I've done that for you, so let me share that with you. So on top, just a little layer. Do not be stingy with your wrap. Uh, not with your wrap, sorry. <clears throat> Heart <burn. laughs> Do not be stingy with your shred. You need to put a lot of shred in, loads. Put twice as much, because once you put your products in, <coughs> it's going to bed down. And if it looks like you haven't put enough in there, then it's really not going to be as fun or as good. So what we need to really do is, I can't see any comments. I don't know if anyone's commenting. I'm just going to, um, oh, uh, can't see any comments. Maybe that's just because there aren't any. <laughs> okay, guys, get commenting if you're watching. Uh, so where do you have most problems with your baskets? Please tell me. What areas do you struggle with most? Is it the presentation? Is it the gathering? Is it the cellophane wrapping? Um, I find if you have a good strong base and you have plenty of wrap, you have plenty of padding, that's a really good foundation. Do not scrimp on the packaging because it can look really bad. And we all love beautiful packaging and just that little bit extra can make it look so much more valuable. Once you've all got it in there, your items have then got a good base to sit in. And this loofah was very, very cheap, it was 34 pence. And I just stuck it right in the back as a centerpiece. And then I'm going to put in my other products. So I had, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit now for you to show you. We're doing this in reverse actually. So you can see once you push it down, it, it embeds and you don't want it to look like you've been scrimping on the fancy stuff. But you only need a little bit of gold because I've already put the brown paper on top and it's sort of a similar colour. Right, next, the aloe lotion goes in. It's got my stickers on the back. And on it goes. Just really try and embed them in a little bit. My nail brush goes in the front. I've just tried to add as many goodies as I can. Um, for the, you know, as many cheaper extra goodies. So the aloe lips, make sure it goes the right way up. And now it's up to you for how you want to fasten these. Because these are in the cellophane, we're not going and I'm, I've got this in the pouch, I'm not going to worry about taping anything down. If the chocolate falls, it falls. It's just one of those things. I'm not going to tape these to the other bits, okay? So I'm going to put one there, one there. I tried to pick the colours that suited the colour scheme as well and I would like to do some sort of blue gift tag embellishment. I think I can bring the camera up a little bit more. Is that alright? Cool. Uh, it's nice to see people tuning in on Saturday night. As I said, it's the first live I've done on this group. So I actually want to twist this around because you want to see in front of you the straightest bit of cellophane available. Now I've gone extra large on this, but notice I've got narrower sides than the front. That's because I want to cover the front and the sides aren't as important, but the top's going to give me the height and the width, give me a nice fan at the top. So I, I don't enjoy this part. I find it really fiddly and noisy, so I do apologise if it's been really noisy for you guys. Put the camera up a bit so you can see my head. <laughs> Um, and you, you kind of want to decide where is the focal angle. Is it the top? Is it the back? Is it the side? Well, the side would be a bit random, wouldn't it, for this particular one? We want it to be symmetrical. And just the last thing you do is just put your finger in there and just fasten down any stray bits. Don't go too fast. This is often a reason why sometimes, obviously we use more tissue paper, but sometimes you're better off, especially if you're moving these items around from store to store, you're better off using just crumpled tissue paper as your top layer. Of course, don't fill the whole bottom with your fancy stuff. Use your base layer to fill it out. So we're going to take this to the back. We've got as much flat as we can get there. And 
can keep gathering. And then I'm going to pleat at the side. In fact, I might just tape that now together at the top so I don't have to worry about it for a bit, just so it stays together. And then I can worry about the sides, how I'm going to get the sides to come in. Because I kind of want it pleated. Can you guys see okay? Hopefully, the quality of this will be HD. And we've got lots of height to play with, but we can trim this down. So I'm pleating from the back to keep the front all nice and straight. Pleating from the back, just try and go as neat as you can and get those sides tucked in as well. You can always tape later. And see through tape is a great thing. So, hello viewers, hi guys, say hi, put your comments down below. Um, have you done the cellophane thing this year or are you just not going down the cellophane route? Um, do you have any tips as well we'd like to contribute to the cellophane? So I've kept the front flat again to keep that continually. I wonder if you can still hear me, sorry. I'm going to stand up a second. So again, once you get really flat and just watch the corners, it really depends on what shape material you use on how it goes. And don't forget we're going, we've got we're not going straight up, we're going slightly back. So we are going to tilt slightly. And it's just being patient. Don't just gather it up and rush. Because that's where it starts to go wrong. Just keep putting it into pleats. Structured and organised is the key. So now we can come to the back of this side. And just keep an eye on your goodies. Oh, we've got some comments now, guys. Thank you so much for that. Um, okay, well, hopefully we can share some more tips and make sure everyone's doing a lot better. Um, love and hate cellophane. <laughs> yeah, it's like Marmite, isn't it? So, what tips have you got? I'm going to do a demo as well. Not today, because I haven't got it in stock yet. But a, a shrink wrap demonstration. Because you can get this amazing shrink wrap that isn't like the factory stuff. It's basically, it heat wraps, it heat seals. Can you just let me know if you can hear me okay with this rustling? It shrinks with heat and works really, really well. Well, because it's a distance. I don't know if it's because of the entire baby, the baby and all that, or it's just my eyes adjusting to the camera being fair all the way. So we're almost there to keep pulling up and across. And of course, practice does make perfect. But don't do this when you're flustered. Don't do it when you're in a rush because you're just not gonna. It's just not gonna flow. So getting there. And then shape it in the direction you're going in. <laughs> As you can see, it's not easy, but that's why these packs look brilliant when they're done. Because people can't just make them on their own really nearly. I'm going to go further backwards with this. I'm going to pull the back up a little bit. I'm gripping with my thumb and my fingers and pushing down with my wrist as well to get that good base grip. I 
if you've got any gaps, you just cover them with the bigger stuff that can go around. My looper. <laughs> Let's grab it. So that proves the need to go higher. And be aware of the height and how high you're going. Yeah, we just need to go higher, that's all. Luckily we had this extra length in there to play around with. Pull and stretch. And before you sit, just check everything looks how it should. How long have you been online? Uh, right. Now, we're having trouble with this looper actually because it's just folding forward because of the back. So I'm going to have to go. Can you see what's happened there? It's just really falling forward. So I'm going to have to open up the back. Which was fine because we kept the front um, really tough. So I think if I just let some of the cellophane go in front of it to hold it in place, then that will be fine. secure interface. Facebook says, oh that's an honest sorry. So you now just want to fasten a little bit before you do your ribbon. And try not to let the tape get all around the fingers. And just go a little bit higher than you need just to give that extra height to your item. And then don't let go until you're happy. It's secure. Let's get to make it really tight. And then we can worry about these bits in a moment. So these little bits on the side, we're going to tuck in, fold it in sideways. And actually that stretches it even further anyway. So again, just keep checking your item. Making sure it looks well packaged and where it should be. And neaten it up. We're just going to keep chopping for a minute just to make it all neat. Gather it together, chop, and that's looking loads better. Now it's time to add a bright bow. Oopsie, forward. Now it's time to add a bright bow. And being a man pack, um, and being a bigger, you know, £25, kind of £30 mark product, I'm going to want a big fancy bow. Now, bows that I recommend for the big ones, the bigger the better, and again, don't scrimp, are the wired ribbons. This is wired organza. We've got 20 mil. This is from a local store, but I will post the link for this online. Um, we have this place in the Fenlands area that's huge so so just stretch right across okay so that's about a meter and you can always use 
these bows as decorations afterwards as extra bits. So just cut two meters off as, as your first one, if it's the first one you've ever made, and cut it at an angle. You don't want to cut it straight, so you want to cut it at an angle so it's got a beautiful end to it. There we go. I think two meters is too much, but we just we just want to be really, really um you don't want to waste ribbon by being too stingy. Okay, and we're going to go round twice with it anyway. So we go round from the front to the back. And just make sure it's kind of roughly in the middle when you do it. Front to back. And the wire is going to help the structure as well. Front to back. Front to back again. Pull it tight. Tie not around the back. So pull it tight and then tie the knot. You should have a bit of an extra collar there. And then we come around the front again and tie another knot. We want it to be really secure, that's the reason. And, uh, so. Okay. So it's got a bit of a luxury thing, but I know you're thinking, no, I don't want to use so much, don't want to use so much, but you know, more is less in this case, more is better in this situation. So we want this beautiful bow to extend out and to add, a, you know, to kind of look like a centerpiece. So it can, because it's wired, we, you can really do beautiful things with it. And I'm going to show you how to use the excess to really look pretty. So I'm just going to come to the side. Oops, we've lost a bit of tape here. So I didn't tape it properly, it's unfolded, so I'm going to keep it more in place. So keep folding that in. And, oops, Daisy. And I'm going to just push down onto the other surface, just two bits. take with my left hand. I don't know what you guys are like with your thumbs and fingers. I'm an ideas person really. This isn't my forte but if I can share with you some techniques that you can use and do a better job then great. So to make this bow we come up as you would normally make a big bow. Leave it loose and just watch what you're doing to straighten every part of the bow, the wire, to keep it straight for as long as possible so you can see where it's going, what it's doing. And then start to tighten the tighten bits. big bow piece that you know the kind of knot that covers the front that should stay there the whole time as you're feeding through your perfectly shaped perfectly straight actual bow piece I don't know if you guys can see very well. oh dropped it oh no sorry sorry I told you this mount was a bit of a problem <laughs> with the uh, <laughs> at least you know it's live um, it's, I won't touch the camera anymore, then I'll leave it as it is, just make sure that you can see the bow. Um, it's just because they don't make these special mounts anymore for iPhones for this tripod. It works for my camera, but on my phone. So, keeping that big bow there, and just tightening this gently, until we get it knotted. Keep tweaking it until it knots. Okay, then you want to leave this fancy bow stuff out to shape later on. Okay, because that bow is going to add to the effect. And with all of this, 
you then shape it into ribbons and let it drape down so you literally bend it round your fingers just bend it round and then if you cut it nicely the previous time you'll always have that nice pointy shape for the ribbon and that can drape down as your centerpiece and if the person who buys it doesn't want it that long that's fine they can trim it off and again with this one it's a nice way to decorate your house as well use your ribbon to decorate the house with what you haven't used at the end of the, the, the season there we go so the bows add that 3D effect. And there we have it guys, there is our basket, which looks much better than it did just as a low 3D item. I really don't think last year's decision when I tried to just package things up and stick the cellophane round the back and round the side, I really don't think they looked great. Um, I think it looks much better in a basket like this. Perhaps this kind of bow isn't the right thing if it's for a man, I don't know. But I just wanted to show you how to wrap it using the cellophane and how to get in. So what do you think? What improvements would you make? Um, you could also tie some smaller ribbon around it, some star ribbon perhaps. Excuse me. Or go for some of the curling ribbon that trail down as well to add a bit of extra effect. So I will leave that with you guys. Thank you for watching. And um, other bits and bobs I shall share with you as and when. So thanks for watching. Have a great evening. And keep sharing your ideas. I love the fact that you guys have been contributing all your lovely ideas. Um, thumbs up to you guys too. And uh, adding more friends so we can help each other. Um, last year it was just like, my baskets look terrible. What can I do? And this year I've just spent loads of time focusing and thinking about the overall base to give you that packaging. And even if I don't sell this one, it's something to help my store look more fancy and more attractive and just to add extra effect. Okay, my guys, I shall see you later. Take care. Goodbye.